G'day and welcome to Pello Talk. I'm here with Sophie York, the lead Senate candidate for the Australian Conservatives in New South Wales. Now, very soon, we will be having a federal election. Could be as early as February, could be as late as May, but it's very important that in the next government, which uh, may be a uh, Scott Morrison government, or it could be, worst case scenario, a, uh, a Bill Shorten government, which would be disastrous for Australia, the only thing that would save us in that scenario is a strong crossbench that would refuse to allow uh, corrupt, bad, oppressive laws uh, being passed in, in the Australian Federal Parliament. And uh, I think it's really important that um, people like the candidates that the Australian Conservatives are putting forward are elected. So, Sophie, thank you for running. Thank you. And uh, thank you for your service as a naval officer as well. Oh, thanks, David. No, it's all been a pleasure and it's a great honour to be here. Very special. And um, you spoke very well earlier, so well done. Thank you. Um, I've just been travelling around the country. I've been to Bathurst, Orange, Dubbo, Newcastle today. And it's very lovely to be with the people of Newcastle. But the, the biggest issues that kept coming up, these recurring themes were to do with energy, immigration, freedom of speech, freedom of religion. But the... the overwhelming consensus was that people are concerned that our beautiful na nation mm. is being changed before their very eyes and that their pollies in Canberra are doing nothing about that fact. So that to us was um, very interesting, very important and we, we, we dive down deep into a lot of issues and um, people, you know, I mean they're noticing that ideology, Greens ideology is now governing both of the major parties. So our solution to that is, well, we need sensible people in the Senate. We can still save our country, no matter who ends up in the House of Reps. Someone from one of the major parties is going to end up Prime Minister. We yep. need sensible people in the Senate. That's and right. so if you can put a good team in there, we will look after you. We understand what your issues are. You want to be able to speak freely. That's what Australia is renowned for. It's a laid-back country. People are allowed to have their own opinions on things. Yep. They've watched what's happened to Sonia Kruger and Bill Leake and Israel Flower and Margaret Port. And, you know, there's so many names yep. now. And the, the entire team of Sunrise are now facing court. I mean, it's get, this is getting ridiculous. Crazy. Yes, this is not the Australia that I know and love. So the Labor platform at their recent... Uh, being presented at their convention coming soon is far more concerned with um, transsexuals and intersex and uh, all, all these uh, gender-bending, queer theory... It's an obsession th with sexuality. They've departed completely from the traditional labour causes of, of the battler and, yes. and um, workers' rights and workers things like that. And, their and they're going on this fringe yeah. green yes. uh, excursion. The workers care about what their children are taught in the schools yeah. and at universities when yeah. they're older. They, they don't want to hear about all this um, fringe adult sexuality issues and, and they certainly don't want their children with their heads filled with all this stuff. That, that, that children shouldn't be allowed to be children yeah. and have, have an, a, a, a period of life that's innocent and when they can play and not have to worry about whether they're actually a girl, if, they, if they're a boy, yeah. am I actually a boy or a girl now? And, yeah. and things like sure. that. I mean, this is quite ludicrous what's going on. And my, my late sister would call it millstone material. In fact, <laughs> <laughs> you're not meant to be filling um, children's heads with disturbed adults' versions of sexuality. I mean, yeah, you know, absolutely it, crazy. Uh, it, it's sad if, if people have issues about that, and you know, I'm, I'm, I hope they work it out and, and all that sort of thing. And there's also very well, good, they need help. Well, there are people who yeah. are mixed up, and I understand that, yeah. and, you know, but, but you don't have to then confuse all the children about their own gender and, and, and make gen it actually yeah. induce gender dysphoria in children That's right. and usher them, as they're doing in Victoria, they can actually usher the child to a GP for puberty blockers. I mean, yeah. that, that, that interferes with their chemical brain Chemical castration. Patterns. Yes, That's all it correct. Is. Chemical and castration. usher them down the path of gender reassignment surgery. I mean, that door you, show. You, don't, you, don't, <laughs> you don't let children um, get tattoos, so why would you be ushering or them down? Or uh, yes, drive a car, you name it. Drink alcohol, yes, but you can um, you, change your sex. Yes. Exactly, Crazy. Dave. You recognise, what we have recognised is that children's brains are not fully formed and they trust that adults will look out for them, yeah. not start introducing very weird concepts of adult fringe sexuality. Yeah. That's, that's simply wrong and it's a betrayal yeah. of the trust. And, and we can expect in the future that there will be children who will be then adults turning around and saying, why did you do this? Yeah. Why didn't you protect me? What on earth were you thinking? Look, um... 
there's so many dangerous things that could possibly, we already know some, but there's a lot that can be introduced in the Parliament. What's really important is that we have a strong independent Senate where common sense is allowed to is allowed to reign. What I strongly recommend is that whatever state you're in, if you're in New South Wales, um, reach out to Sophie York. If you're in Please Queensland, do. reach out to Lyle Shelton. There's great people in, in each state. Yes. But find out what these people stand for. Yes. Don't just vote for them because of the umbrella they're under, but ask them if they're seeking to be your representative, they will be excited yes. that you're interested and they yes. will answer your questions yes. honestly. I want to be your voice in the parliament and I want to be your voice. What you think, what you stand for. But so, there's no point in going there if I can't do that for you and do it strongly. For so you. interrogate her, grill her, yeah. give her a hard time and ask her exactly what she stands for. Yes. And in the meantime, thank you for your willingness to uh, thank for you. standing for the public service. Thank you. It's an honour and a privilege. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Harry. We'll see you in the next episode of Palo Talk.